Hey, this is Mayer. Here's my trace for the day. A quick look at uh, my account, as you can see here. I'm green. That's amazing. I love it because I was down yesterday. <laughs> yeah, well, green is good, right? So I'm up uh, $359 and I'm still riding TDC, which is uh, up like another $100 or so. So anyway, being green is fantastic, uh, especially after having a red day. You know, the most... Uh, uh, the thing that frightens me the most is uh, having several red days in a row. And I have to be very careful after a day uh, as I had yesterday. So I had to be a little bit more careful today. That's why I did not take FSR short, for example. As you can see here, the second one minute candle came down under the lows and it was extremely dangerous. I preferred not to take it, although it did very well. I waited a little bit more and as you can see, I took the wrong trade, which happened to be BIIB because BIIB and there was nothing wrong about the technicals of BAB. It did come down under the lows, moved down nicely. Uh, really touched the point where I was looking for my target, approximately two points, but did not give me a chance to take my partial because it was too spready and then moved up, took me out, and now it's coming down. So I, I was following several stocks for a gap and go today. One of them was BAB, second was FSR. My trade in FSR, however, did not work out. I was hoping for continuation. It did not work out. I have a very small loser, like 25, maybe 30 cents or so. And, um, and uh, the one that did work out very well, which took me out of red, is TDC. That was Scott's trade. Now, if you take a look at TDC, it's the same idea. I mean, the stock is up like 10%. And when the stock is up that much, you expect a gap and go, but to the long side. So if you look at uh, FSR or BIIB, let's take a look at them below. You start with a gap down, you look for a move up, a failure to move up, and then a continued move down, which did not work that well in BIB, but worked very nicely in FSR. M trying to move higher, failing, coming down. Now, if you look at TDOC, it's the same idea. You look for a failure to move lower, and then for the first chance of the stock, reversing and trying to come up. So again, it's the same idea, just the opposite side. This one is the greed trade where stock is up 10% and everybody likes to join it. The other are the fear trade where stock is holding down and hopefully going to continue coming down gap and go. Now, I did not feel like I should take more risk. I did not have any profit cushion. If I have a profit cushion, if I start with a very green trade, well, I started with BIB, it was a red trade. But if I do that and then my second trade goes green and then I could, you know, party a little bit and take more risk. But I started with a red, red trade and I moved to green with BIIB and then I took extremely low risk trade with FSR. You know, it was supposed to be like 25 cents stop loss, small size. I knew I was risking up to 600, 700, 800 dollars. I calculated this trade this way because that was my profit. I was up like 1000 dollars and that's why I'm finishing up like 300 dollars, maybe a little bit more if I sell my TDC trade. Uh, later but again you know I, I came I came out from a red day yesterday I had to behave this way I did not want to to have a, a second consecutive red day and uh, the market was really not doing much was not helping when the market started today when I mean pre-market time I did not find a lot of candidates very few BIB was one of them FSR was another so not a lot of candidates uh, so I did not feel like I should take a risk, especially after I started in red. So anyway, I had to play it safe today and the market did not help, was kind of going sideways. Now it's trying to get back over the highs. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Yesterday we had a very big upside move. So hopefully this could be a continuation. So if you're still here, there's still some work to do today. Uh, I've seen uh, lots of you traders uh, doing very well yesterday, first day of World Series of Day Trading. And I really want to congr congratulate so many people who did amazingly well. While I was losing money yesterday, so many of you made a lot. So that was amazing to see that. And I look forward to see the results today. So World Series of Day Trading, WSDT continues. So just a uh, lot of, uh, I mean, good luck to all of you who are participating. Hope to see you doing uh, good today too. And I'll see you all tomorrow.
Mayor. Have a good day. Mayor, I've got a quick I got a quick question for you, Mayor, before you leave. So, you know, World Series of Day Trading, day number two today, and uh, you know, if you and I were in the in the competition, you're coming off of a red day yesterday. Coming into today, markets, you know, I I think you you'll agree with me. Markets okay. Maybe we get better here this afternoon. Coming off of a red day yesterday, I know the strategy is a little bit different going into today because it's World Series of Day Trading and it's you know it's not trading you, you know your real live account. But how do you you know if you see these 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 traders that are made seventeen thousand yesterday, fifteen thousand, ten thousand, and you maybe have a red day or maybe today you've you've poked your head into the green territory for the two days. What's your mindset going forward to day number three tomorrow, and then into next week to try to make that run? Where do you, you know, where, where do you, where do you put your mind if you want to make that run? Because so many people here in the room and joining us on social media, they're wondering, hey, do I still have a chance? And I told them this morning, absolutely, you have a chance. But what's your mindset, Mayor, going forward in the next four days of the competition? Well, I'll say it this way. You know, uh, there's a big difference between trading your own account like I do and trading the World Series of Day Trading where you can only make money but you cannot lose money. There's a big, big difference, which is um, also the, the, the mental behavior of the way you trade, the risk you are willing to take. You know, if you're trading the World Series of Day Trading, you don't have to feel as down as I did yesterday while losing money and come in today and be careful. You can't do that. So, you know, that's kind of an advantage because you keep trading with your instincts. You see a big mover. You see, I don't know, FSR coming down strong with a big gap down, down 9% right now. Maybe you click on the button, you move in. You know, sometimes your instincts... Are, are, are taking over and that's good because if you follow your instincts which you can do if you're not trading your own money and you can do it uh, uh, easier when you're not trading your own money you can become a better trader than I do much better than I do if you're right and if you're going the right way so if you came off yesterday with a losing great day first day on World Series of Day Trading I do not suggest you would do the same as I did today being very careful you should look at the big movers today uh, you should uh, take more risks and you should follow your instincts. Like definitely uh, TDOC is a trade you should have taken. For example, I mean, this one stock gapped up 10%. You took it long, Scott, and you did very well with that. And it's still going. I'm, I'm up right now. And it's going well. I'm still riding it. So, you know, um, and, and there's plenty of other stocks which are big, mo big movers today. So I, I believe if you are in the World Series of Day Trading, um, you should ignore the fact that uh, you had a bad, bad day and um, don't 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 average down your I mean if you're down yesterday let's say 10 grand or something like that because World Series of Dating is quite a big account there's a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, um, uh, buying power there so just don't 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 double your risk but definitely trade the same way you did yesterday so you lost money yesterday today's a new day you can you can handle that. I lost money yesterday. I have to behave a little bit different. It's a different idea, different way of trading. You have nothing to lose. You can only win. So f keep following your instincts. You probably don't feel as good as uh, if, if you lost money yesterday. You don't feel as great as if you won money yesterday. But you can definitely keep the same way. That's that's my two cents, Scott. Yeah, very good, Mayor. And I, I would just tell tell all the traders that that's great. You know. Trading a live account is a lot different than being in the World Series of Day Trading. And I want to just put the parody in there. Those of you that follow Major League Baseball and you're a baseball player, you're up to bat, you're trying for the base hit, you're trying to you know, uh, move the team along. But when you go to the All-Star game, you're, you're up to bat and you're at the home run challenge, the home run derby, and you're swinging for the fences. And that's kind of where we're at with the World Series of Day Trading. You want to make great trades, but you want to trade those stocks that are going to give you that, that, that further reach. And a little bit different than trading your own account, but again, I think Mayor's got some great, uh, uh, great thought here, and we experienced some great trading yesterday in the afternoon session after Mayor had gone on from a losing day, and I look forward to that today. I think we're going to have a decent market here with good, um, uh, you know, the, the spy's about ready to close the gap. So, uh, boy, there's a lot of room left, and traders, like I said before, and Mayor knows this too, don't think because you're having a red day today or that you're, you're up 500 bucks and the leaders are at 17,000. You watch, I guarantee you that these leaders in these top 10 will, will jockey back and forth over the next four days. So uh, hang with us, 
hang in there, enjoy it, learn from it. That's what the World Series of Day Trading is all about, learning and enjoying trading. And uh, I'm just, I'm having a good time. I'm having a great time trading and uh, educating, and we're going to do that again today at 3.15 with Yogi. So, um, Mayor, thank you for the day today. Okay, welcome. Good green day. Uh, yeah, green. <laughs> Small, but yes, definitely green. Uh, thank you all. See you all tomorrow. Bye.